Hi everyone, Neil here from Red Flare Model Studios and today I'm going to show you the technique I've used to create a, a, a cracked and distressed concrete base or pavement or even roads, um, you know, depending on the scenario that you've got for your, for your diorama. Now this can be, um, it's using some household materials, so I'm going to have a list of those at the end of this video. And really what I'm doing here is I'm just showing you the simple technique to create a, a, a base for your diorama in a very simple and efficient way. So I've got some household materials here. Um, this is Thule, um, which is a, a, a fabric. It's a nylon based fabric. Um, you don't have to buy it with the stars, I'm afraid. It was something my daughter had lying around, so I'm using this, but um, it's going to be in, in, inside the material, so you know we're going to see these stars or these sparkles. Um, but you can get that from any uh, hobby store or, uh, or, or, or kind of haberdashery. Um, this here is just a piece of uh, MDF, which I've, I've then attached some uh, five mil square um, uh, kind of wood to the side and uh, just stuck that down with wood glue and that's going to form the frame so the the actual base is going to be around about five mil thick and I've got some standard um, plaster this is just filling plaster um, from the wall and I'm just going to mix that up so the the, the process really is quite simple um, you put some plaster inside that you then put this material this two lay material inside the plaster and that binds that plaster together and once it's dry you can then break that so I'm going to go ahead here and mix up This was just some water. Let's just move that to the side. It doesn't matter how liquidy you have it because it's going to be poured inside. So. Just make sure that's Feels like I'm going to be doing some uh, DIY in a minute. There we are. So I'm going to add a bit more plaster because I need a bit more volume. It's a lovely messy job this, but you'll get a good effect at the end of it. There we are now, you just kind of consistency really, it's a bit like porridge. And then all I'm going to do is I'm just going to spoon that in and you want it really as much as you can up to the edges. Now leave a little bit in there because you don't want to use all of it. You need a bit for the surface. So spread it all around. Doesn't matter if it goes all over the, the base or the sides because once it's dry you'll snap it all out. And it doesn't matter if you've broken edges on it. There we are. Now, what you're going to do is you're not going to fill it completely at this stage. If you notice, it's not quite all even on top. And the reason why is as simple as that. I want to get the fabric. And this is the messy bit where I'm going to start to push the fabric in to the material it goes into the plaster and what this does is it helps to bind the plaster together so that when you crack it the plaster still holds its shape so there we are 
Now, I want to use this additional material on top. And just there we are. Use as much as you can. trim the fabric and everything else at the end of it. Now, I'm smoothing this out with a spoon, but in a second, I'm going to also use another piece of wood. I'll push that down in there, because that, that's showing on the outside. There we are. Just try and get rid of all those bits of fabric, hide it so that you can't really see the texture on the top. Let me grab another piece and smooth it off. Right, so I've just got a uh, an old stick. You can use another piece of wood or something. And what we really need to do now is just drawing it along and smoothing that off to a finish to make it look like a concrete. And again, it doesn't matter if it's rough and you've got holes in it, because this is going to be a very damaged and broken piece once you've let it dry. Push that down a bit more. There. And that is a simple process. I'm going to have a clean up and let that dry. And in a few hours we'll come back to it and we'll be able to take it out of this mold. And then the next part, the fun bit, where we can break it all to bits. So the Plaster's now set, and I've got a little tiny uh, round pin here. You can use various things like um, ball bearings, or, or you need something small. Um, because what we're going to do is we're going to put the uh, pin down, and we're simply going to just push and crack it. So you can see there, um, and do it in different positions, different ways. But what you want to do is you want to break it, and and the the tule is is holding it all together at the moment so you know it won't kind of crumble um, and fall to bits and so i'm just cracking that in various places across the bit um oops it's got stuck inside it there we are <clears throat> and what i'm going to do is just put a few more on there there we are. That'll do. So we've got some of the plaster that's just come off. That's fine because really, you know, no, nothing's um, ever going to be perfect. And you can use these bits actually to to, to stick onto the hair as well um, and make your, you know, your base or your model look like the concrete's come out. Um, so, you know, kind of play around with this. Now, what also we're going to do is I'm just going to dig out some of these pieces because what we want is um, this, this is too much of a fine line. So we're going to kind of dig out some of that. So I'm just going to grab a tool and I'll do that. So I've got a couple of sculpting tools here. Um, you can get these from any, again, any hobby, hobby shop. Um, really what I'm going to do is I'm just going to use this piece here and I'm going to kind of dig out some of the groove and what that's going to do is it's you want to do it as randomly as you can if you kind of break it like this it then makes 
So pushing it in rather than scraping it. Lots of bits are coming off. The plus is not held together very well. There we are. And you just work your way along all the cracks, just taking off some of the definition around the edge. So it makes it look like the concrete's really decayed over time. I just, you know, have fun with it, right? You know, you most of it's going to be covered up by whatever you're putting on. If you're putting in a vehicle or something on top, it's going to cover most of this up anyway so you know focus on the sides <coughs> you can see immediately uh, you know um, what I'm going to do is I'll obviously put these bits back in there um, glue those down um, and make it look like these are all come loose and by the time you've sprinkled all of this stuff back on here it's now looking like a lovely distressed piece of concrete and it's as simple as that so I hope you've enjoyed the video if you've got any comments or thoughts just add them beneath and um, I'll, I'll respond but yeah thank you very much guys <laughs>